How has COVID affected you? Um, COVID has personally in my family has not affected us because we haven't had COVID. But I have a sister who works in the healthcare in the healthcare field, and she does work directly with those who do have COVID, and so we do hear firsthand about how scary it is. Um, so it, I understand the severity of it, right. and so does my family. That's pretty good. Do you know where to get vaccinated? Yes, I do. Uh, I got my first vaccine at the Coliseum. Same thing with the second one. Um, you know when they're doing the drive-through at the, where um, the Ace play and, and the Raiders used to play. Yeah. And then for my third vaccine, I got it at Walgreens. And so for my fourth vaccine, I'm assuming it's going to be at Walgreens as well. How do you feel that masks will be optional? You know, I am a little bit scared that masks will be optional. Personally, because during COVID time, you and every yeah everyone, I I saw how dirty people are and how much we really aren't conscious about things that we put in our face especially in our hands they touch everything uh, i used to eat hot cheetos without like not tripping about washing my hands lick my fingers and then go back to doing what i was doing you know mm -hmm. and now i'm just like that is so nasty of me like girl wash your hands you know um so it has made it, it for me it's it's a little scary because i know how easily transmissible covid can be but not just covid also any other kind of colds and all that stuff you know how easy it can be transmitted so i am a little bit freaked out about it but everyone to each their own whatever whatever it is that they want to do the wear it or not i personally will continue to wear my mask uh, mainly to make sure that I know I'm not a carrier to my family because my grandpa lives with us and he is 94 years old, you know? So it's a little scary. And then my mom and my dad, making sure that they are okay. I have a niece who can't get vaccinated yet because she's 10 months old. So I, in my household, we will still continue to wear masks to make sure we protect those who are not able to get vaccinated yet. And that makes sense, like, Think about it like there's a liquor store like around here people bring food all the time just eating class mm -hmm. they don't care about what the teachers say yeah. yeah i think it should be optional when you're not around a lot of people you know what i mean like outside like outside yeah yeah because you know there has been studies that have shown that outside transmission isn't as high as inside you know Cause, like inside it's all stuff all yeah stuffy and, you know and the crazy part is that uh you know they want to make masks uh, op like an option in schools and stuff, but you know in OUSD, we we don't have that luxury because our our classroom windows don't even open. Some of them you know? do open, and, and just some of them don't. Yeah, and so what airflow even goes through there, you know? And you know it's a good thing that now they stepped it up and they gave us what are they called air purifiers, oh. but still, what is that gonna do, you know? Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of air purifiers yeah. if you want people to not wear masks. Yeah. What do you know about the COVID vaccine? What I know about the COVID vaccine is that it was developed during the, I think it was like the first year and some change. Like 2021? Yeah. So it was, it was um, developed in the first year of COVID. Um, I know it was approved on an emergency approval because we needed it. We needed something to help protect everyone. Um, I know that it is, it's supposed to help us lessen the, sim the, like the severity of the symptoms that we get for COVID. Some people get symptoms, some people are asymptomatic, so I know that it's supposed to help us with that. Um, uh, yeah. Are you asking like specifically, like, like how is it made, or like what no, works? No, I'm just trying to ask so, like, what, what you know right What now. I know about it, yeah. And that there's, that there's, there's a couple of vaccines. I know that the U.S. has two. I know Russia has one. Um, China has another one. And I think, what is it, the one in the U.K., the AstraZeneca and all that stuff. Um, 
I know that in the U.S. it's it wasn't easily accessible until um, I feel like it wasn't easily accessible because the people who needed it more, the black and brown community who really needed it the most, sometimes it lagged getting people vaccinated. Yeah, you like know, people are older. Okay, you can't get the vaccination because you're too old. You know what I mean? But now, like, mostly everybody can get it. Yeah. Except people who have, like, that weak immune system because like, they're older. Well, the whole point of the vaccine was to help out the older folks so that they don't get the symptoms. And, like, younger people. Like, yeah. Like, four or five. Yeah, so now that I'm, now from what my understanding is, what is it, five years old and up they can get vaccinated? Six. Or six years old and up they can get vaccinated? And then 12 is, like, they get, like, a basically adult doses yeah. and boosters. Yeah. That's what I know so far about it. Do you have any other questions or anything? Uh, what, what other questions come up for you guys that I want to know? But we asked a question. Why would you ask her? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. How do you feel about Russia attacking Ukraine? Has that to do with COVID? No. Uh, no. no. I, just, no. I just said, I don't know. Okay, How do you feel about the economy? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, I know where to get a vaccine for sure. I think there are definitely like some people who, like in our community who like don't have access to like the information that we do. I think like all of us, whether we're students or teachers, we're like hello fortunate to like have the information because we are a school, so like we get this information from like the clinics and like we're able to like share with our families. But if you guys didn't come to school, I'm sure like none of us will be able to like know we got a, a vaccine, right? I think like the only reason like I was able to get a vaccine so soon is because I am a teacher. Um, whereas, like, my mother didn't know where to get a vaccine and I had to be the person to tell her where to get it because she didn't have that inf- information, even though she is, like, an essential worker. So, how do you feel about masks being optional to wear in school? I think it's interesting. Um, I don't mean to sound disrespectful, but um, children aren't always, like, the clean cleanest. Um, and I'm just trying to be, like, as respectful as I can be, right? Like, sometimes people just... I mean, children and adults, sometimes we get to wash, wash our hands, um, stay sanitary, as a school, I think it should be mandated, like, inside the buildings, just so that we could all be safe, at least, like, in the classrooms, in the hallways, you want to pull it down, cool. Outside, you want to pull it down, cool. Um, but I think it should definitely be mandated to, like, still keep our mask on, like, inside the building. For the most part, I think, like, once you get outside or, like, once you get outside the classroom or, like, you're not confined into one space, you should be able to, like, take your mask off, right? Because we all want to breathe. We all hate talking with this mask on. We hate touching, like, the spit from our lips when we talk. So how long does it usually take you to be some with somebody not wearing a mask and worrying about COVID? Yeah, I think like in the back of your mind, like, you're always worried about COVID. Like you could be a healthy carrier, and, like that makes it ten times scarier. It's, like does this person really have it or not? And you have to like trust on people's like integrity that they are getting tested like on a regular basis, right? I think like how long it takes me to feel comfortable is like, do you have your vaccine? Do you have any symptoms? So I think as long as you carry that, it's part like of the day. Um, but if it's, like, someone who I don't know and I just met, I think it's just, like, courteous now to just keep your mask on. It's not so much, like, a safety thing. It's just, like, well, Roger's wearing his mask and he's talking to me, so I'm going to keep my mask on because he's wearing his mask, you know? It's kind of like a social conformity. Not so much, like, it's because of my own safety. Does that make sense? Uh, what is it called? Uh, how do you, do you know what's in the vaccine, like, what it does or something? I think what it does is it's supposed to, like, allow for, like, the protein of the virus to enter your body. So, like, it trains your body to, like, fight back. The way it's been, like, described to me is basically like a flu shot. You get a little bit of the virus in you so that your body is, like, exposed to how it fights back to it. COVID affected you and your loved ones? Um, Luckily, I've been able to stay pretty safe about it. And most of the folks I know have been able to stay pretty safe also. Um, A lot of folks I'm tight with have had the privilege of being able to work from home, which has been better for um the health and so yeah i think uh for the most part my my close friends have been able to stay pretty healthy and um i've been able to stay pretty healthy as well we're pretty blessed in that sense um how do, you, how do you feel about the mask mandate being optional like where you have to wear masks and to be an option? Um, I'd prefer the mass minute to still be a thing because I feel like we've been through this before where it's like, we feel like COVID's dying down and then we, um, we drop a lot of our mandates and then a whole new, a whole new letter, a whole new strain of COVID pops up. So I prefer it to be tighter, but 
who knows maybe maybe it, uh things do finally get better but i'm gonna bank on it there's still a lot more letters in the greek alphabet so how long does it usually take you to be with somebody without a mask uh before you worry about covid um i mean it depends case to case um i'm not really sure if i have a specific answer to this question i'll have like a time period um it's more just like if they aren't wearing a mask, I want them to so they can help keep themselves safe and keep, yeah, I don't know. Do you know where to get your vaccine at? Uh, yeah, there's plenty of places. The school, the school is one place that has vaccines available from time to time also. Lots of different places. Um, Hella clinics nearby um, have it available for folks, so yeah. Do you have the vaccine yourself? Yeah, I'm, uh, I got my booster a while back. I'm waiting for the second booster also. How's COVID affected you and your family? Uh, honestly, when it first started, uh, my grandma died of COVID. Uh, when I when it first happened, it really affected like my family because we haven't seen my grandma in a lot in a really long time. Um, and so, and one of my dreams was to actually take my mom to go see my grandma, and unfortunately, that's that's not going to happen. Um, but you know, we look on the bright side. Um, and then uh, the next thing is like my entire family got COVID. That, that like a couple months after that, um, everyone in that household and it was pretty bad too. And so like nobody was there to really take care of them. I think that was a very stressful moment, especially because that, that was my first year teaching. So I was really like, I, I was really, I was just really down around that time. That was a really stressful, stressful moment for me. So how do you feel about math being optional in school? I think it's, I think it's, it brings a lot of like, a lot of like things that we don't really think about. I think it brings up a lot of like insecurities that students may have. One, like psychological effects that it has on kids that we don't really like really explore and think about like, yo, we don't think about how much it's going to affect kids and like the insecurities that it brings out to them. One, and that's just an assumption, of course, I understand that. Uh, but it's also something that keeps in mind when I think about my students and I think about like how they feel about that. Two, the, I think it brings up anxiety when it comes to like, you know, some people have been really affected by like COVID and still are afraid to take their masks off. So I think like at the, I think for us to take an approach of like just strictly take off masks and like or just like enforce that on students, I don't I don't I would not like to take that approach. I do think that we need to like warmly warm the students up to that and like you know be more empathetic about when they take off their masks and how they take off the masks and if they want to take off the masks. So I think it's just about like listening to our students at that moment in time and their families. So how do you, how long does it take you to be with somebody that doesn't have a mask on and worry about COVID? I think any any time I don't, someone doesn't have their mask on, the same the first thing I think comes up to my mind is that like, are they worried about COVID? Do well, how do they feel about COVID? Like I don't want to like judge them because I also have my mask off at times too, and then I also have to check myself as a teacher and just as a human of like, yo, what kind of like message am I sending my students? And like, am I ma am I making sure that my students are safe in the class, or do they feel safe when I have my mask off? And so it's just it's a very mixed feeling for me because of like. The, the fact that like you know I want to have my mask up but at the same time I also want to make sure my students are safe and I myself and keeping myself safe and it's just that whole like mixed feelings about it and so I think it's just more about taking care of ourselves and our kids. <laughs>